Toyota is reportedly working on a new compact truck. It's believed to be called the Stout. Now compact trucks are making a comeback, so this would make a lot of sense. In this video, we'll discuss everything we know about the new truck. And we'll also discuss how we got to this point with so many truck models. Toyota is well known for their quality craftsmanship. They produce some of the most popular vehicles sold in the US. The Tacoma is the best-selling mid-size truck, and the full-size Tundra was recently redesigned and is gaining some ground. But there's something big happening in the truck world. A new segment of truck is emerging, the compact truck. When Ford released the Maverick for 2022, with a starting price just under 20,000, people rushed to place an order. In fact, Ford currently has a backlog of orders and cannot produce Mavericks fast enough to meet demand. No one, including Ford, was expecting the demand to be so huge for a compact truck. And Toyota is taking notice. Toyota confirmed they are looking into producing a new compact pickup truck. Toyota's first compact truck sold in the US was the 1964 Stout. Throughout the decades, Toyota's compact pickups grew in popularity. They were well known for being tough, reliable trucks that could go through just about anything. In the 1990s, Toyota released its first full-size truck, the T100, but they continued making a compact truck, which was renamed Tacoma in 1995. But by the turn of the century, the full-size truck was renamed Tundra, and the Tacoma was increased in size from compact to mid-size. So why was this so significant? Well, a mid-size truck is just that, a truck size in the middle of compact and full size. This change proved to be successful for Toyota and led to Tacoma becoming a best-selling truck. During the same time, Ford and Chevy were still producing compact truck models, the Ranger and the Colorado. But sales of compact trucks were rapidly declining customers were moving towards larger full-size trucks. Ford's F-Series trucks were continuing to increase in sales, but sales of the compact Ranger were dwindling away. And here was the problem. Ford and Chevy could have increased the size of their compact trucks to satisfy customer demand, but in doing so, they would be cannibalizing sales of their profitable full-size trucks. So in 2011, Ford made the decision to end production of the compact Ranger. And Chevy followed suit and discontinued the compact Colorado in 2012. Now the full-size trucks were selling better than ever, but there was a catch. More often than not, the bigger the truck, the bigger the price. And although customers loved having large trucks, their wallets couldn't say the same. Manufacturers feared if some customers didn't want to spend the money for a large full-size truck, they may switch to a brand that did sell a smaller, less expensive truck. So in an ironic twist, Chevy brought back the Colorado, but this time as a mid-sized truck. And then Ford brought back the Ranger also as a mid-sized truck. So this brings us to today. Trucks have continued to become larger and larger, and even the mid-sized trucks are nearly as large as older full-size trucks. Not everyone needs a large truck. There are many customers that want a smaller, less expensive option. And so, the compact pickup has returned. Ford released the Maverick, and Hyundai released the Santa Cruz. These compact trucks satisfy customer needs. They're more useful than an average SUV, since you have a bed, have exceptional towing capabilities, get better gas mileage than larger trucks, and there are even hybrid options available, saving customers even more money on fuel. Toyota is anxious to release a new compact truck because they had so much success with them in the past. Here is what we believe the new truck may look like. The Stout will be the same size, more or less, as the Ford Maverick. The small truck may use Toyota's TNGA unibody platform, which is the same platform that currently underpins the RAV4 and the Camry. Toyota's vice president of product planning said that the TNGA platform would work best for customers that plan on using the truck for urban use and light off-roading. However, he went on to mention that if customers demand a rugged, smaller body-on-frame truck for more extreme off-roading, they would certainly consider it. 
realistically speaking, most customers purchasing these trucks will use them for urban use. When customers purchase a Ford Maverick, the second most traded in vehicle is the Toyota RAV4. That is a big problem for Toyota. The engine equipped in the Stout would most likely be a four cylinder that makes comparable power to the Maverick. And it's extremely likely that a hybrid option will also be available. In fact, Toyota plans to have a hybrid option for all of their vehicles by 2025. This would mean that a compact truck capable of 40 miles per gallon is a definite possibility. Pricing in the low 20,000 range would make the Stout a very appealing vehicle. The truck may be revealed as early as this year. One thing is for sure, Toyota needs to release it as soon as they can, because Ford can't produce Mavericks fast enough. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.